Welcome to Now Creative World. I'm Afrojuku Naomi, and in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a tool brain fascinator or a satellite fascinator. Some persons call it tool brain because the another name for net is tool. So we are going to be making use of our net fascinator. Can you see this? I was go going to be using a already made. A a molded fascinator you already know how to do this and you already know how to make this all you need to is use your fascinator wire your your bias strip and your net to make this so with that you can achieve this you know how to do that already and you know how to mold a fascinator so other materials should be needed is our ribbon our potassium ribbon our needle and thread scissors gum and we need, need a sequence you can use a lace for this some lace are stretchy so you can use that to achieve this this is the lace we are going to use but if you don't want to use lace you can use any other uh, beautiful uh, material or even a current to achieve this so for a start we are going to use our sequence to cover the already made fast like the modern fascinator using our gum so what you do is you already know how to do this you have to place your material on the so you just have to place this on it then you can as well cut out the area you want to use to cover it i want to show us another easy way to make this so this is the area i want this is the part i want to use to cover this up all i need to do is just cover it and then the reason I'm doing this, look at this. This is not transparent enough. As mean this is transparent, you already know what to do. You have to use a lining to cover this up before you add your lace or whatever so that when you place it on it, the black color will not be visible. I hope you get that. So at this point now, I'll just turn to the back and then I'll be using my gum. So this is it. I'll just cover it up like this then i'll place my gum on this area can you see it now i'll place my gum on this part before i proceed let me you have to know that your first my fascinator wire is already sitting inside this place i have my fascinator wire here already you already know how to do that so i'll just apply my gum and then i'll use it to cover it up so i've applied my gum and can you see it I will just fold it in neatly. Can you see it now? All the parts I will just drag it neatly and then I'll cut the excess at the back part of it. So this is it and this is the front. Now at this point now all these excess here I will just cut it at starting from this part. This point I'll cut it at. So this is it after cutting that. For now, I just leave this as this a rough edge. We'll cover it up when we are done. Then if you still want to cover inside with this a uh, uh, sequence, you can as well cover it so that it's this a uh, black color will not be visible. You can cover inside if you want to. So at this point now, what we'll do is we'll bring our net fascinator. Can you see this is our net fascinator? So at this point now. We'll be using our needle and thread. What you do is you place this on it. You can determine where will be the front. Now, you know this side is where we fall on your we lap on your head when you are done. So you can either use this side as the front or you use this side as the front. But I want to use this side as the front. So the side that is not the front, your this cap should come close to the side you are using as the front so that at the end of the day when you put it on it will be visible this is the first they will see, see this other than placing it at the back so this is it now so it will come like this and we'll be using our needle and thread to tackle it down and it has to be very very tight and firm so we'll start from the back so i will start from the back can you see it? I'll start from the back. So I'll start from this point and I'll pass my needle upward. Can you see it now? I'll pass my needle and my thread upward. And I'll drag. So 
see this is what i'm going to do because i don't want the, the thread to be too visible so i'm going to take this close to the first one i did here so can you see it now so the, the thread is not it's not all that visible so at this point now i will then go back to the back again please this has to be very very tight because at the end of the day we are going to cut this part at it has to be very very tight so i will drag and you know this back is not always visible so i will just go far a bit it's not it won't be that close the way the upper part like the front was close can you see it so this i'm going to come this way a bit then i'll come back now and you already know how to do this so you just pass it a bit so this is how you continue to go about it until you get to the other side you are done this has to be very very firm because if it's not if it's not firm when you cut at start cutting this part at your work will not look firm or it will be firm so this is it and this is how we continue can you see it now this is how we continue i'll just continue like that and sew it down with my needle and my thread so this is it as you can see i'm done i'm done stitching mine so at this point now what you do is you just pass try as much as possible to pass your scissors inside and you cut this net inside cut everything hard can you see it now just cut everything hard to this point cut that and so i'm done cutting can you see it now i'm done cutting so at this point i will take my petersham ribbon and i will apply my gum i will apply my gum to the ribbon and i will use it after applying it this is how i will place it i'll just place it like this to cover this up and i'm done covering it up can you see so this is it and this is the front this is the front so at this point now you know how to attach your alice bands to this back you know what to do if you want to attach your alice band you already know what to do and at this point now you may want to embellish it with your flowers your feathers and other uh, stuff like that now th there's something i want to do for this if you can use your ankara or your fabric to make bias strip and attach to this part where they are bias strip here yes but you can just use it to embellish this part so what do you do all you need to do is you you cut so to make this bias strip with either your ankara or your lace this is what you do you just cut from your fabric this is the fabric we use from the start you cut from this fabric and you cut in a situation whereby you'll be able to fold it in before you start the other process can you see it now so this is it this is why i cut mine and this other part I will fold in. Can you see it now? I will fold in this part and I will at, I will just before I fold I will apply my gum to this part. I will just take my gum and apply my gum to this part and to this other part too. Can you see to this other part just to cover it up like this. So when I apply my gum it will not be like this and the other one will be like this just to close the edge before I start. So once I'm done this is what I will now have at the other side. This is what I will have. You can see the both sides is closed now. So I will then take it to the edge of my... I will start from the front. The side that is the front. This is the side that is the front. I'm going to use. So I will start from this part. Can you see it now? I will start from this part. And I will apply my gum first. I'll apply my gum to my bias strip. Then I will just use it to... I just take it this way a bit. And I will use my gum... I apply my gum to it then i'll press it down just the way you will apply your bias strip you already know how to do that so and this is it can you see it now 
after attaching what i actually did was to the case i want to remove it i just use my pins to pin it down to the case i don't want it i want to change the design or so i don't want this i just use my pin to pin it down so when i'm done now if i feel this is what i want i'll just go it and move my pins then this is the back view and this is the front view so i'll place it on the dummy head down for us to see so this is the finished look on the dummy head before i end this video the length of the fascinator wire i used for this net is 45 inches the length of the fascinator wire i used for this edge is 45 inches then i use my the smallest mode i have this smallest mode i have this is what i used to mold this this point before uh, attaching my my sequence so that is all there is for this tutorial thanks for watching once again you are watching now creative world online training